No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Michelle Burnt is a transplanted Iowan who moved to Mansfield in 2010. The 30-year-old has a family history of breast cancer, and she'd planned on having a preventative mastectomy in 2012 after testing positive for a BRCA2 gene, making her highly susceptible to breast cancer. But just before Christmas in 2011, she discovered a lump in her breast. A few weeks later, after competing in the Mrs. Texas Beauty Pageant, a positive diagnosis was confirmed at the Baylor Cancer Center in Dallas. Disgusted is the right word because you, I just, as gross as it sounds, I wanted to take a knife from the kitchen counter and just cut it right out of you. Because you feel really disgusted. Do you remember what mommy has? What is it called? Breast cancer and surgery. You're just like, ugh, get it out of me. Many times a mass that is felt in the breast is not breast cancer. And so we still were kind of keeping our fingers crossed. Of course the biopsy was done and it was not benign. And your heart just kind of sinks because here we are right in the middle of it now. Within days of this revelation, Michelle will undergo a double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery. The potential spread of the cancer will also be determined. But at this moment, her focus is on the loss of her hair. So what are you thinking on? Well, he said I have to have chemo. Yeah, that's one thing I was afraid of. I don't want to lose my hair. So what does the future hold for Michelle? Oh gosh, um, she will probably be spending most of this year taking care of this. She is going to be a witness for this disease and will help somebody else get through it. And I pray you wrap your loving arms around your family. It scares me to death. When you think of Michelle only getting it at 30, it's scary because I got it at 53, my mom got it at 57, and my grandma got it at 55. I'm just so sorry. Love you. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for everything, Bye, Michelle. Chris. We'll see you in a few hours. You got it.